Hi, I'm Brian from Syntax Technologies. You can contact me with this information. I'm dealer for SQ Accounting System. So if you want to make purchase, training, support, or even come to our training center to attend a course and get a certificate, please go to facebook.com slash syntax technologies to like my page so that you can have all the latest information regarding SQL system, the training video, and also you can make comment or inquiry over here. I will answer accordingly. You can also go to youtube.com slash syntax technologies to browse all the previous tutorial video for SQL accounting system and SQL payroll system. In today's lesson, I'll continue with sales report. So, the next report should be sales picking list. Sales picking list is actually a document for you to collect the item in the warehouse if you have one. So, what it does is actually simple. I just changed to 04. So you can see it actually convert the document into a picking list format where your staff can actually go to where and pick up the individual item. And there is a story over here. You can also specify which item to be picked up. Take a copy. Can do the group by and sort by over here. So this is a picking list. The next report should be sales price history. Sales price history is actually a history for all the pricing for certain item from different. Okay, normally you will sort by item, customer, or customer item. So, the printout will be like this. This is the customer with this invoice. So, this is the item, customer. Item, customer. The pricing is here. If you sort by customer first, then item, you can see that. Customer purchase this kind of item and in under which document. But normally for me, I would say that sales price history is more practical when you during your sorry during your sales entry, for example, your quotation. So when you key in the entry. you can go to view sales price history then you immediately understand that this item for kitty the previous transaction is over here so i will say this is more practical during entry rather than check it after the transaction okay profit and loss by document profit and loss by document is for you to know individual items profit margin for every transaction so as for example this item what is the cost what is the item sales amount profit and profit margin sometimes you see that is zero is because you did not update the cost of one maintenance item or simply because you go to tools Analyze data interpret. The cost is depends on what type of cost method you are using. So there are three fixed cost, beta average, and first in first out. So by using different costing method, we we'll get different item costs over there.
So same thing, you can always set the criteria for viewing a report. Which document? The criteria and the grouping and sorting procedure. So they sort by customer. Individual transaction item and the profit margin. So this is profit and loss by document. So that's all for today. I'm Brian from Syntax Technologies. You can contact me with this information. Thank you.